Hi, my name is Uta Passo, and I'm a professor and Canada Research Chair at the Ocean Science Centre at Memorial University of Newfoundland. Hello, my name is Nana Zorbi. I am a PhD student in my fourth year. I work in the Ocean Science Center at Memorial University in the Aeon Lab under Professor Paso supervision. Me and my students are working on the interactions between oil, chemical dispersants, and the biological processes in the ocean. Because the ocean does not only consist of water, but there's a lot of organisms there, ranging from bacteria and algae cells all the way up to whales. We work more on the small organisms like algae and bacteria. And these organisms respond to oil in different ways and they get affected by oil in different ways. Within the Aeon Lab, we have a very strong and big oil team composed of three PhD students, two master's students, a research assistant and a postdoc. We all work on different questions relating to oil spill research. However, uh, we help each other and interact a lot by sharing resources, literature, also helping each other during experiments. So, we are able to do bigger projects and answer more questions together. When oil is spilled into the ocean, there are different response mechanisms we can put in place in order to mitigate any potential impact. One of them is the use of chemical dispersion. Those dispersants are going to break oil the oil slick into small droplets the same way a dish soap would break a layer of oil on top of water. So when doing so, what we want to understand is does this chemical dispersion impact other substances in the ocean and do those substances impact how this dispersion works and how effective it is in the water. A second big emphasis of my project is the impact which oil in the presence of algae will have on organisms. Like oil itself might not be eaten by larger organisms like blue mussels, but once it gets incorporated in what we call marine snow, aggregates consisting of cells and oil droplets and all kinds of other particles. Often we call marine snow the dust bunnies of the ocean. And this marine snow is actually good food source for blue mussels and other organisms like it. And so they ingest oil inadvertently by eating their normal food. And so we are exploring the consequences of this. So Canada is really trying hard to develop a first-class marine oil spill preparedness program. And that's what the MPI project is about. As I said initially, oil is very complex because there's many different kinds of oil and each oil consists of many chemical substances. And environments, of course, vary. An oil spill in a deep ocean is very different than a coastal oil spill. And of course, release conditions vary. A spill from a boat that broke up is very different than a spill from a harvesting platform that is deep down. Actually, MPRI and DFO funded my research and allowed me to obtain my PhD thesis at the end of those research projects. It also gave me access to a network of scientists, of facilities, of colleagues, analysis. One of the problems with working with oil is that oil is a very complex substance. It's composed of thousands and thousands of compounds and measuring oil concentration and composition actually require a very specific type of labs and equipment. So working in MPRI project allowed me to do those measurements in a way that I wouldn't be able to do on my own. Responders and decision makers, when there is an oil spill, need to first evaluate the conditions of the spill and then make the decisions. 
The work we have been doing will hopefully provide the guidelines for other people with whom we are collaborating to make a decision chart which can help lead to a response plan in a very short time frame, very fast, because time is of a sense. As soon as oil is spilled in the water, it begins spreading, it begins changing, which we call weathering, so the oil composition actually changes, its behavior changes. So having good, fast, implementable response plan, knowing what to do, is really of a sense to keep the, the damage an oil spill will cause in all areas to a minimum. Canada, and especially Newfoundland, is very ocean-oriented. There's a lot of oceans around us. And um, fisheries, aquaculture, tourism are important reasons to keep our ocean healthy. Canada also produces oil, and there's a lot of shipping of oil going near Canadian coasts or in Canadian waters. So preparing to prevent harm as much as possible to the ocean from an oil spill is in the interest of all Canadians, but it is definitely an important part to the whole economy and ecology for Canada.